video. I'm Miss Evergreen, and we're back in Evergreen Land. And today, I'm making my famous, famous, delicious sugar cookies. Look at this beautiful Christmas cu cookie cutter we've had for years. I'm adding in one and one half cups of granulated white sugar. And what we're going to do now, folks, is I want to cream this together. Evergreen Land's a beautiful, beautiful cold place, but it's a crispy cold place. One egg at a time. I'm adding in two eggs. Even the eggs were mostly fro almost frozen when I had to grab them out of the uh, evergreen farm. Okay. One more egg. How beautiful. Yes, I'm a Christmas tree. I was born in Evergreen Land. And all Christmas, we Christmas trees talk. So this is going to be rolled up cookies today. You're going to have to roll them out with a rolling pin. I'm adding in. Can I find that? I'm adding in my vanilla. Smells delicious. I'm adding in one teaspoon of vanilla. Because it's clean. Okay, folks, we're almost out of vanilla, but we don't really need that much. Just enough. There we go. I have a whole bottle of vanilla, folks. No worries. Here we go. All right, now, the next thing that we're going to add in from Evergreen Land is the flour. Without flour, let's make sure this is dry. Now we're adding in three cups of all-purpose flour. This is going to really make delicious cookies. I might have to go for my bag of flour, folks, but I don't want to take a chance that we don't have enough flour. We always have a lot of supplies here. If we get a blizzard or something, even us Christmas people have a problem getting, getting food. So we have enough in here because there's going to be a lot of flour going into this. Here we go. All right. One. Two, we have three cups of flour, folks. Now, the next thing I have to add in, let me just wash this. Okay. There's one teaspoon, I want to make sure this is right, folks, because I don't want to mess this up, folks, and it won't come out at all, and I'll be very sad, I'll be a very unhappy Christmas tree. One teaspoon of baking powder. So beautiful. Let's wear my whisk. Okay. The thing you touch in Christmas Evergreen Land is ice cold. Whisk together. Now, next thing is it's going to be if you have any more vanilla left, which I don't think we do, but I think we should be all right. No, there's nothing left in here, folks. You know, folks, I'm going to get another vanilla. I have so much vanilla in this house, it's unbelievable. Let me see what we can find the vanilla and the salt. Now we have the vanilla, folks. We have a whole bottle of vanilla, folks. No worries. You want to add a vanilla? I always make sure we have extra. Nice and tight. Big jar of vanilla. Comes from the vanilla bean garden. Now, let's start adding. Here we go. Now, see, I'm going to start mixing at this point because what I want to start doing is actually pulling it together with my hands. Okay, put this over here. I don't want to accidentally use it again. Make sure there's nothing else that has to come out of here. Here we go. Now, this is going to come together as a delicious cookie dough. It's, it's a lot of arm movement, folks, but it's going to really taste delicious. Folks, this is what you want. A nice, thick ball of cookie dough. 
Now what I want to do now is I'm going to put it in my ice cold, everything in the refrigerator, <clears throat> and let it chill for two hours, folks, before I come back, and then we're going to roll it out, and we're going to have delicious sugar cookies. Two hours. Folks, the drop begins. The dough has to be really cold. Now you notice if it starts sticking to your rolling pin, what you have to do is add the flour to the rolling pin. Because this is where the problem is, you have to always add flour so it can't stick. But sometimes it's going to break, folks. That's how delicate it is. Not to worry about it. Here we go. Here we go. Move it around a little bit. Now, sometimes it's going to break, folks. It will crack. It's not to worry. The main thing is we've got to cut out these things to be cookies piece over here for now. This piece is going to go later. Keep stretching out this dough. Now, I want to make sure, folks, no matter what, we have the cookie cutter, have flour into the cookie cutter as well. It's going to break. It's nothing to worry about. I'm going to start cutting into cookies. Oh, look how beautiful this is coming out. A beautiful little Christmas tree. Look at this beautiful Christmas tree. Please, folks, if you can, if it breaks, it's nothing to worry about. What you do is you just re-roll it up again, and you keep rolling it out and rolling it out. This is what master chefs do all the time. Sometimes the dough just falls apart. That's how delicate it is. All right, let's get more flour on this. We already got one tree out already. Keep rolling. You know, folks, let's get rid of this thing. Use the countertop because this thing has a habit of moving, folks. It's driving me insane. All right, okay, here we go. Now it's not going to move any place. Much better. See, Beautiful. Look at this. Keep going. These are going to become sugar cookies. I'm going to put on green sprinkles. We want them to look really Christmas tree. We want them to look like Christmas trees you get in this, around Christmas time. There we go. Now, we're going to pop this in the oven and cook this for about five to six minutes, and we're going to have delicious, wonderful homemade Christmas uh, sugar cookies. And here we have delicious, wonderful Christmas tree sugar cookies. Look how beautiful they came out. This one's breaking a little bit. These cookies, folks, are very delicate. They're sugar cookies. And you only can make them around Christmas time. And look how beautiful these cookies came out. And I'm Miss Evergreen. And I want to wish you all of you a very happy holiday season, Merry Christmas, and a happy new year from Evergreen Land, where it's minus 20 degrees. I'm a talking Christmas tree from Evergreen's Home Country Kitchen. Have a great day. Please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.